सो हाई एवरी वन एंड वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू वेलकम बैक वंस अगेन टू अनदर सेशन ऑफ पी आई बी टू फोर सेवन सो गाइज ड्यू टू सम टेक्निकल रीजन्स द क्लास कुड नॉट बी कंडक्टेड एट एट ए एम ऑन इट्स यूजल टाइम बट नो वरीज द क्लास इज क्लास चाहे आठ बजे हो चाहे दस बजे हो नो प्रॉब्लम सो इन टूडे सेशन गाइज वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द पी आई बी न्यूज फ्रॉम ट्वेंटी सेकेंड एंड ट्वेंटी थर्ड सेप्टेम्बर ऑफ टू थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेंटी So I hope you all uh, are ready for the class. So let's begin with without any delay. But before we begin, if you want to have the PDF of this session, you can join the Telegram channel, and the link for which is provided in the description. All right. So let's talk about the very first question. Very very important question for the upcoming NABARD Grade A Phase Two. So as you all know, in Phase One examination, there was a question from the Third Advanced Estimate of twenty one twenty two. Right. If you remember this Third Advanced Estimate. 2122 से क्वेश्चन आया था आफ्टर दैट फोर्थ एडवांस एस्टिमेट वर रिलीज बाय द मिनिस्टर ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एंड फार्मर्स वेलफेयर विच वी हैव कवर्ड इन वेरी मच डिटेल सो देयर इज अ चांस दैट दे विल आस्क क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम दिस फोर्थ एडवांस एस्टिमेट और दिस फर्स्ट एडवांस एस्टिमेट ऑफ मेजर खरीफ क्रॉप फॉर ट्वेंटी राइट सो दोनों ही इंपॉर्टेंट है सो प्लीज आप इनके ऊपर फोकस करें सो मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एंड फार्मर्स वेलफेयर हैज रिलीज द फर्स्ट एडवांस एस्टिमेट्स of production of major kharif crops for 2022-23 the question is what is the total food grain production in million tons as per the estimates right so let's talk about so these are the crops guys and it is the estimated production of all the crops the most important thing that you have to remember is the overall food grain production right generally exam mein jo question aayega 90% chances yahi hai ki food grain uh, pe hi question aa jaye and there are there is a यू नो देर इज वेरी लेस चांस कि बाकी क्रॉप के बारे में पूछा जाए राइट सो टॉकिंग अबाउट दी फूड ग्रेन तो फूड ग्रेन का प्रोडक्शन कितना एस्टिमेटेड है इट इज वन फोर नाइन पॉइंट नाइन टू मिलियन टन बट दीज डेज हमें एग्जामिनर के एक दिमाग का कुछ नहीं पता होता दे आर आस्किंग एनी थिंग सो हमें ये इंपॉर्टेंट क्रॉप के बारे में भी पढ़ के जाना पड़ेगा एक बार राइट सो राइस वन जीरो फोर पॉइंट नाइन नाइन मिलियन टन पल्सेज एट पॉइंट थ्री सेवन तूर थ्री पॉइंट एट नाइन ऑयल सीड्स ट्वेंटी थ्री पॉइंट फाइव सेवन राइट एंड कॉटन थर्टी फोर पॉइंट वन नाइन मिलियन बेल्स वन सेकेंड गाइस या कॉटन थर्टी फोर पॉइंट वन नाइन मिलियन बेल्स जूट एंड वेस्टा टेन पॉइंट जीरो नाइन मिलियन बेल्स एंड शुगर केन इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट शुगर केन से पूछा जा सकता है इट इज फोर सिक्सटी मिलियन टन्स और राइट ऑल दीज नंबर आर इन मिलियन टन्स दीज टू आर इन मिलियन बेल्स टू रिमेंबर दिस and now if i talk about the question this question so what is the total food grain production it is 149.92 million tons option a is the correct answer moving ahead to question number 2 which of the following is an incorrect match with respect to the data released under sample registration system statistical report for the year 2020 very 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 important question question ab isme se is news mein se definitely you are getting a question in your examination there is no doubt right definitely 100% they are Uh, they will ask a question from this right so sample registration system in which uh, the ministry releases the data regarding the mortality rates right different mortality rates ka data isme government release karti hai so let's talk about it but before we move ahead to the data let's talk about all the indicators for which the data have been released number one crude birth rate so what do you mean by crude birth rate so it is number of live births in a year per 1000 population which means Uh, per 1000 population how many live births are there in a year all right total fertility rate of course it is very easy average number of children that a woman gives birth to in her lifetime right ek mahila apne pure lifetime mein kitne bachcho ko janam deti hai average number that is total fertility rate early neonatal mortality rate is the number of deaths during the first seven completed days of life per थाउजेंड लाइव बर्थ इन गिवन ईयर एक साल में पर थाउजेंड लाइव बर्थ में पहले सात दिनों में कितनी डेथ होती है बच्चों की दिस इज नोन एज वॉट अर्ली न्यूनेटल मोर्टिलिटी रेट देन वी हैव न्यूनेटल मोर्टिलिटी रेट विच इज वेरी इजी नंबर ऑफ डेथ ड्यूरिंग द फर्स्ट ट्वेंटी एट कंप्लीटेड डेज ऑफ लाइफ पर थाउजेंड लाइव बर्थ पहले अट्ठाईस दिन में नंबर ऑफ डेथ ऑफ चिल्ड्रन पर थाउजेंड लाइव बर्थ राइट उसके बाद इनफैंड मोर्टिलिटी रेट आई होप आप सबको ऑलरेडी आता होगा डेथ ऑफ चिल्ड्रन under 1 year of age for 1000 live births and under 5 mortality rate is death of children under 5 per 1000 live births so you should know um, about all these indicators only then you would be able to understand that what this data is saying right 
so talking about the crude birth rate so according to srs 2020 it is 9.5 earlier last time in the year uh, 2019 it was 19.7 tfr has been reduced from 2.1 in 2019 to 2 in the year 2020 and as per nfhs 5 it is now 1.9 right early neonatal mortality rate starting from 0 to 7 days it is now 15 it has been reduced from 16 to 15 neonatal mortality rate is 20 infant mortality rate is 28 and under 5 mortality rate has been uh, decreased from 35 to 30 all right so uh, these are the indicators and that is the data all right so now let's come back to the question so which of the following is incorrect all right so infant mortality rate is 28 i believe neonatal mortality rate is 20 under 5 mortality rate is not 30 it is i guess 32 if i'm not wrong it is 32 yes under 5 mortality rate is 32 not 30 so this will be the correct answer guys to this question because this is the incorrect match moving ahead to question number three which of the following PSUs has been awarded the National Energy Leader Award for fourth time consecutively, an excellent energy efficient unit award for sixth time in row from CII Godrej Green Business Center. All right. So this PSU in question is Rashtriya Ispat Nigam Limited. Option C. It is for the fourth consecutive time that this PSU has got the National Energy Leader Award given by CII Globe, uh, Godrej Green Business Center. All right. Question number four, National B Board in collaboration with National Seed Research and Training Center has organized national workshop on role of agri startups in honey value chain. Where has the workshop organized? Remember National B Board uh, has organized this, uh, you know, workshop in collaboration with National Seed Research and Training Center, which is located in Varanasi. All right, which is located in Varanasi and therefore this was organ this workshop was organized also organized in Varanasi option E. Name the program being implemented by Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare headed by Narendra Singh Tomar and Narendra Singh Tomar's Lok Sabha constituency is Morena. All right, uh, to increase the production and productivity of Tur, Masur and Urad. So remember the name of the program is TMU 370 option B is the correct answer and of course TMU stands for what? Tur, Masur and Urat, right? These are the kind of pulses. Which of the following international organization has signed an MOU with National Cadet Corps to tackle the issue of plastic pollution and achieve the universal goal of clean water bodies through Puneet Sagar Abhiyan? I hope you all know this, that Puneet Sagar Abhiyan is being uh, conducted by National Cadet Corps NCC, right? And Tide Turner's Plastic Challenge Program. So this MOU will work towards cleaning the water bodies through Puneet Sagar Abhiyan of NCC and Tide Turner Plastic Challenge Program of United Nations Environment Program option C. And that is why this MOU has been signed between, uh, you know, the NCC and UNEP. All right. So option C is the correct answer. And NCC Director General is Lieutenant General Rajiv Chaudhary. Do you remember this? Lieutenant General Rajiv Chaudhary is the uh, Director General of NCC and there was a committee which was formed for uh, bringing out reforms in NCC, which was chaired by Mr. Bajyant Panda, right? Who was the chairperson of that committee? Mr. Bajyant Panda. Option C is the correct answer. With which of the following states, Medtech Zone Limited, National Small Industries Corporation Limited, NSIC, has signed an MOU for cooperation in the health sector. So NSIC will cooperate in the uh, health sector with Andhra Pradesh. Andhra Pradesh Medtech Zone Limited. Option E is the correct answer. Very, very important question. Which of the following central public enterprises has been accorded with the status of Maharatna by the Department of Public Enterprises Ministry of Finance? Earlier, the Department of Public Enterprises was under Ministry of Heavy Industries and Public Enterprises. But now, the Ministry of Heavy Industries and Public Enterprises is just named as Ministry of Heavy Industries. All right. And now, the Department of Public Enterprises is work, uh, works under the Ministry of Finance. And the... <clears throat> PSU, the central PSE, which has been accorded with the status of Maharatna is REC limited. Option B is the correct answer, which is a public sector enterprise under the Ministry of Power. All right. And with this, we have 12 Maharatna in the country now. With this, we have 12 Maharatnas in the country. And the last, the last PSU, which was accorded the status of Maharatna was Power Finance Corporation. I hope you all remember this. All right. So option B is the correct answer. 
Which of the following companies has signed an MOU with Electronic Sector Skill Council of India to empower the youth with industry relevant skills in emerging technology domains to enhance their employability? Now remember, under this MOU, under this MOU, three thousand students of the age group of eighteen to twenty-five years, three thousand students of the year eighteen to twenty-five years, they will be provided with relevant skills. in emerging technology domains like artificial intelligence machine learning etc and this will be done under samsung Innov samsung campus innovation program this will be done under samsung campus innovation program and therefore the correct answer is option a samsung question number 10 indian line uh, indian sign uh, language research and training center has developed an indian sign language dictionary app with Uh, federal institute of science and technology which is located in kerala for the development of the uh, which which is uh, sorry with federal institute of science and technology kerala you just have to name this app i think there was some error in the language of the question you just have to name the of the app which has been developed by indian sign language research and training center in collaboration with federal institute of science and technology and the app is nothing but indian sign language dictionary app all right so the name of the app is guys sign learn option c is the correct answer and it was uh, launched on the sign language day which was observed on 23rd of september right 23rd of september is observed as the sign language day option c is the correct answer question number 11 principal scientific advisor to the government of india and who is the principal scientific advisor anuj uh, anuj anup sood uh, sorry ajay sood I beg your pardon. Ajay Kumar Sood is the uh, principal scientific advisor to the government of India. Has uh, he has unveiled a book? She is women in STEAM. So what does A stand for in STEAM? So earlier we had STEM. What was STEM? It is science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Now one A is added in it, and now this STEM becomes STEAM, and this A stands for arts, right? So option A, arts, is the correct answer. and the last question for today the government of india has launched a special uh, assistance scheme to states for capital investment for 22 23 under this scheme the financial assistance is provided to the states by the government of india in the form of 50 year interest free loan for capital investment projects only for the capital investment projects right under part 5 of the scheme that is optical fiber cable component of the scheme an amount of how much rupees is earmarked and will be available to states for capital projects on optical fiber cable network so you just have to tell the amount that how much amount will central government will give to the states under optical fiber cable component of the scheme right so the amount in question is 3000 crores option c is the correct answer okay and that's it for the session i hope all the questions are clear if you have any doubts you can ask me in the comment section thank you so much for watching goodbye take care and god bless